Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest, Missing Mr. Birdie. That can be found at the community notice board in North Corel. So let's zoom out on our map to the Corel region and fast travel over. Wouldn't recommend going out there. Okay, here's the notice board. Missing Mr. Birdie. Client Mr. Birdie's buddies. Location North Corral Lookout. Mr. Birdie didn't come home for dinner, and no one knows where he is. We're worried something bad might have happened to him. Can anyone help us find him, please? We'll take the job. Alright, so it's these kids right over here. you talk to this old fella instead. <laughs> He's tough. Tougher than he looks. And real good at solving people's problems, right? Someone's a softy. Of course I'm soft on kids. Helping them's what we do. News to me. Well, what's the problem? Uh, you see, Mr. Birdie ran away and hasn't come back. Oh, Mr. Birdie is a bird friend of ours. His head is all pointy. Kind of like yours, mister. Pointy, huh? I bet they're talking about Cloud Jr. Who's that? Your bird friend. He had a run-in with a nasty fiend, and we saved his tiny behind. No way! You guys, Grandpa said he saw Mr. Birdie heading toward the desert. What? But we aren't allowed to go all the way out there. You just leave it to us. We'll find your friend. Really? Promise. Great. Grandpa said there's some old bird houses out in the desert that people built back in the Republic days. He said those are good places to set traps. Oh, and my mommy told me you can craft them yourself if you've got the right chip. Don't you worry. We'll get those bird traps ready in no time, won't we? All right then. Let's go find our bird, buddy. He'll definitely be happy to see you. At least somebody will be. I understand there's no making amends for how I did these people wrong, but I want to help. I need to help. What happened with the reactor wasn't your fault, you know. I could have told you that. No, I ain't the one who proposed building the damn thing. That was Shinra. Just hitched my wagon to it. Right. Took a while to accept that, though. Hell. I did everything in my power to avoid thinking about it at all. Eventually, I realized the excuses I was clinging to weren't making me feel any better. What happened in Corral? That's my burden to bear. People around here don't take Just don't go breaking your back. Yeah, well, it's stronger than you think. I won't pretend it's all for the kids. End of the day, I'm doing this for me. Old dude said he got schematics for a trap? Wow, that's great! Now we just gotta make some. Make sure Cloud Jr.'s safe, okay? Old dude said he got schematics for a trap? Wow, that's great! Now we just gotta make some. Make sure Cloud Jr.'s safe, okay? Alright, so we need to head into the desert and find these birdhouses. Little Chirpy's chick's gone missing. She's probably looking all over the desert for him. So we're gonna go into the desert this way. I'm not gonna get a heat stroke. All right, we got ancient bark there, and more ancient bark. Now we went this way before when we were uh, going after the people that kidnapped the robed man, but we went all the way to the top of this like mountain area, and this time we're going down. More ancient bark. Apparently, this is the place for ancient bark. So we're going this way. The freight elevator, North Corel Gate. Oh, 
Oh, this thing's fast. All right, we're at the freight elevator desert gate. And from here, we can summon in our buggy. Sent that stick flying. Uh, so, our first birdhouse is over there. It's that red, like, gnarled tree up on the hill. So, right over there. Should be able to just drive up. Yeah, no problem. Set the bait for Cloud Jr.? Well, no, because I have no bird traps. So let's go to our item transmuter and check out the new stuff we're able to make now and make some bird traps. So we have Planet's Venison. Uh, that takes three Planet's Favor, five Sage, and three Pearl Ginger Root. I'm so excited to finally have a use for Pearl Ginger Root. Planet's Venison, a soothing embodiment of the Planet's Grace. We're gonna make a bunch of these. Finally, I'll be able to collect Pearl Ginger Roots again. That's good enough. Armor, nothing new. Armor upgrades, we can make an enhanced Abyssal Bangle with 42 physical defense and 20 magic defense. Enhanced grade five, a refined variant of the Abyssal Bangle, and that'll take five exquisite beast hides. We'll upgrade Tifas. Then we'll make an enhanced old beast bracelet for Barret. That's 20 physical defense and 42 magic defense. Enhanced grade five, a new and improved version of the old beast bracelet. That'll be five exquisite beast spines. All right, uh, accessories, we can make the Karmic Cowl, a scarf that channels the collective grudge of one's comrades into a protective power. That'll be three exquisite beast hides, two marjoram, and a Tomberry King's robe. It increases vitality and spirit by 30. It grants immunity to slow and instant death. So this thing's awesome. It's, it's like a combination of the uh, protective boots and the safety pin plus stats. Very nice. All right. Accessory upgrades, nothing, and key items, we have our bird trap. Bait used in springs to humanely capture small avian creatures. Five sage, three mist seeds, and three marjoram. We'll make three of them. Okay, let's set the bait for Cloud Jr. You laid the first trap. And now, we wait. Might as well rig the other traps then. Life was a hell of a lot simpler back in old Midgar. We were good, Shinra was bad, and if we took him out, the world would be all right. So what's changed? Not a damn thing. Shinra's still going down. But coming back here, I see how I got tunnel vision. And not because Shinra was all I had to think about. It's because I didn't want to think about anything else. Saving the planet's important, but I put a lot of personal stuff on the back burner, and I shouldn't have. Dying and the others helped give me that clarity. Just wish I could have got it sooner. Okay, so on our way to the next birdhouse, we're gonna check out some other stuff, like that sand tornado thing over there. That's where the proto relic is. Let's go take a look. Got the baby chocobo, we'll help him later. This must be the sandstorm. And lo, whither should it lead me? 
but these sweltering sands. What is this thing? No way. What misfortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed? You would do well to leave, that I may collect what is by rights mine! You think the proto relic is yours? Proto what now? Relic, you say? Ah! A ridiculous name, unworthy of my treasure! What you names covet is none other than a prize in my resplendent arsenal. The get. Uh oh. Oh. Let's pour him! I can hold him no longer! Oh. Oh. Oh no, down I go! Oh, what was that? <sighs> oh, thank goodness I finally got through. Are you all right? I'm fine. But what the hell was that just now? I'm investigating the matter as we speak. In my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. Okay, so we've got like a... a geriatric sand giant competing uh, to get the proto-relic with us. Interesting. Let's go help this baby chocobo with his stuff. Okay, and we have our Phenomenon Intel 1, Modular Reactor 1, Proto Relic location. The signal is growing stronger. Perhaps there is a Proto Relic in the nearby reactor. Uh, you mean that thing? It's been altered, though it doesn't appear these modifications were made by Shinra. Whoever's responsible may be waiting within. Proceed with caution. A mysterious power blocks the way inside. It's some sort of monster's den. A fortress, if you will. Whatever it is, I don't think we can get inside. <sighs> Whoa. Commencing scan. I believe I have a match. The symbols resemble those found in the Book of Kings, an ancient tome. Allow me to translate. Hmm, interesting. Well then, in order to unlock this door, you'll need to locate a cactuar rock hidden somewhere in the desert. What kind of rock? A mineral deposit named for its distinct cactuar shape. Now that Cloud has made contact with this door, the rock we seek should be marked by a green glow. By the way, do you happen to see a cactuar shaped statue anywhere nearby? you should guide you to the rock I spoke of, which in turn will serve as the key to the door. So we must prove ourselves worthy. I know you can do it. <sighs> Seeking the Cactuar rocks. Hold up on the D-pad to raise the Cactuar statue aloft, then follow the light it emits to locate its corresponding rock. Let's give it a go. So, up there. Let's call on our buggy and head in that direction. All 
right, so we're gonna check this spot out. You can see some boxes and a treasure chest over there. This is the Rust Laden Reservoir. We got a Moogle Metal and a High Potion in that box. The treasure chest has a Swallow Song Brazer. Let's go ahead and give that to Yuffie. Because she's got an unupgraded old beast bracelet. So she gets the Swallow Song Bracer. It's uh, 27 physical defense and 27 magic defense. Grade 6, a finely crafted bracer that evokes the beauty of a bird in flight. Compared to the old beast bracelet that she has, 15 physical defense and 32 magic defense. And it's the same materia configuration, so nice little upgrade. All right, what else do we have around here? The Pearl Ginger Root Sage and Pearl Ginger Root. So nice to be able to get Pearl Ginger Roots again. Not the case for Numinous Ashes, though. Those are still maxed. And we got an Amethyst there. Temper Laurel and Sycamore Wood. And over here, if I could get off that whatever that is, we have our second treasure. Three Moogle Metals. In the boxes, we got another Moogle Metal and a High Potion. And we got Planets of Venison and Favor. More boxes over here. Got nothing. And our third treasure chest is a Mist High Potion, and that completes this cash location. But wait, we have some boxes. Those had nothing. And these boxes have a potion. And then we got more. Alright, so, using our Cactuar statue, you can see we need to go up there. We don't want to go to the right, because that will lead us basically all the way around, so we're going to go to the left. There's really only one way up there, and that is this direction. Down here, we've got a chocobo stop. <laughs> the chocobo stop is now working. All right, check our cactuar statue. That way. Oh, hey, who's moving my, what, what the heck? Uh, that was weird. Okay, bring my buggy back, please. Never seen that before. It's very strange. All right, so we can go up the hill right here. And we've got some enemies and some new enemies. We've not actually fought those Cactuars before. We have fought Cactuars, but not those ones. Let's spill some ATV on the Cyclone Drake. And do an assess. That's a Cactrot. Botanical fiends of the succulent variety. Mainly found in arid regions, noted for the adorable flower blooming on their heads. Although typically calm and reserved, once they start running, they become a wild, unstoppable force. Hitting them with physical ATB commands will pressure them. Though typically too fast to strike, they will be susceptible to attacks when pressured or while using abilities of their own. Build right, ATB on the Cyclone Drake. Alright, got the Cactuars out of here. We're taking a bunch of damage. I don't like it. I'll switch to bear. Yeah, 
Okay, let's check our Cactuar statue. That way. So, we'll go through here. We got two amethysts. Boxes over here. Nothing inside. We got a grenade. And we got some more boxes up here. With a potion. Alright, we got sycamore wood and mellow oak there. And look who it is. Our buddy the sand giant. What's he up to over there? Oh wow, he's freaking huge. I knew he was big, I didn't know he was that big. Look at that. It's enormous. And he's walking our way. You want some of this, buddy? I don't care how big you are, I'll fight you. Yeah, you walk yourself over here. Let's throw down. Oh no, he fell apart again, poor dude. All right, well nearby we've got some fiend intel. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Got amethyst and iron and zinc there. Uh-oh. It seems we've crossed into fiend territory. Look alive, people. Rare sand spitter variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. The doomed dwelling sand spitter subsists on a diet of desert insects, which it ingests along with a heaping helping of grit and rock. Note that it doesn't immediately regurgitate this excess. The creature holds it in reserve as a weapon to fell more prey. Such evolutionary adaptations are simply par for the course of this arid biome. Analysis of this variant will offer us greater insight into life in the desert. Your assistance is much appreciated. Okay, defeat all nearby enemies. We need to pressure an enemy, stagger an enemy, and defeat them all in the time limits. Come on! We do this fast. Yeah. All right, the pressured one. Let's do a focus thrust on it. I think I just staggered another. Uh, well, let's do an assess. Allow me. It's a blade fan, a rare sand spitter variant born in the wake of the gold saucer's construction. Exposure to Mako has turned its fins blue. Inflicting enough damage after it emerges from the sand will pressure it. Good night. Yeah. Yeah. This one too. It's on now. Do a pray. Ooh, switch to Barret. Oh, I got away. I got this. I know. Oh, I didn't pressure him. All right. Get ready. Come here, you little jerk. Okay, so looking at our intel. Fiend Intel 5, fish out of water. You obtained biological data on the blade fin, a rare variant of the sand spitter. This desert dwelling Piscian menace has been exposed to Mako, making it even more ferocious than its smaller cousins. Okay, so. You can see our cactuar rock right there. Stand before the rock and raise the Cactuar statue. Right, we've got some orange Cactuars. Too bad. 
botanical fiends of the succulent variety, mainly found in arid regions. Their bodies have adopted an autumnal hue. The shyest of the species, these cactuars dash to and fro, cheeks as red as the walls of Cosmo Canyon. Hitting them with physical ATB commands will pressure them. Though typically too fast to strike, they will they will be susceptible to attacks when pressured or while using abilities of their own. Alright, investigate the Cactuar Rock. Here goes. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> oh man, that was hilarious! Hey, do you think there are any more of these amazing rocks out there? Our pliability is most impressive. Whatever. Let's go. Cloud is not amused. Return to the modular reactor and unseal the door. Okay. Uh, on the way, let's set up a few locations. So, this way. Down here we have the sand swept modular reactor. It's a cache location with two treasures. So we got sage. The boxes had high potions, two of them, and a cushion. More boxes here. Nothing. Up here we have our first treasure. It's a ruby. Boxes over here. A grenade and a Moogle medal. We have our second treasure here. Three armor piercing grenades. We got boxes with a Moogle medal. And then we got a blessing and a favor. Bring our buggy back. Alrighty, so this right here is the Gold Saucer parking garage if you want to go up to the Gold Saucer with your vehicle. And over here we have our scenic spot. Corel Desert scenic spot. So, as usual, simply open photo mode and you're good. Share your scenic photo with snaps. Let's go back to the uh, modular reactor. Dark in here. Oh, but very light down here. Oh, they're adorable! But what are they saying? You know? To them, the proto relic is the treasure of the sands, it seems, which they have kept safe for generations. Moreover, they are duty bound to ensure its safety until its rightful owner comes to claim it. Wonder who that is. Hmm. For all we know, it could simply be a myth. You're saying these guys have their own fairy tales? Sounds pretty silly to me. Hang on a sec. Who are you calling a fairy? 
Whoa! No need for all that. Name's G, Kid G. Descended from a long line of goblins. I look after these cactuars. It's a duty passed down to me from my forebears. Wait, you can talk? <sighs> Speech ain't that hard, lady. Where there's a will, there's a way. Given your present company, I'm shocked you haven't shaken that preconception. <laughs> he does have a point. Quoth Cactuar Scripture, the Book of Kings. Unto those who seek the treasure of these sands, a trial shall be given. <laughs> if you think you've got what it takes to be the treasure's rightful owner, you're gonna have to prove it first. Where'd they all come from? And now your trial. Take down the cactuars within the time allotted. If you can. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves a volunteer. Who? Oh, me? Cactuar Crush Yuffie's Trial. Test your might against an army of spiny speedsters in this race against the clock. Defeat as many cactuars as possible within the time limit. Each cactuar defeated will add to your score. Reach the target score before time runs out to win. Cactuars come in all shapes, sizes, and point values, with some even boasting special properties. For example, gladiatoires are more susceptible to standard physical attacks, while magitoires are vulnerable to magic attacks, like Yuffie's ninjutsu. Alright, rank 1 is 1000 points, that'll give us 3 mist high potions, rank 2 is 1500 points for 3 mega potions, and rank 3 is 2500 points for a crescent moon charm. Attempt Cactuar Crush with Yuffie, yes. Alright, so we just want to do regular attacks on these first ones. Build up your ATB. Alright, and now these run up to them and do a windstorm. I'll take them out real quick. Now we're going to actually do a windstorm on these, even though they're not weak to it. Just to get them all grouped up. Build ATB super fast and throw out another windstorm. Then we'll do an Art of War on this guy. And then a Supreme Art of War. Alright, we gotta build ATV here. Oh, that was a lot. Windstorm! Alright, then we got these bigger Magitoires. For these, you'll wanna use Wind Current. And you may as well. Use some ninjutsu. Watch out for these exploding balls. Alright, we'll do wind current on that magic flash. Alright, we'll just take this one down with our ninjutsu to build ATB. And then windstorm! Windstorm again. And windstorm again. And then while they're all grouped up, we'll do an art of war. Oh, got hit. Oh, what the heck? That hit me. Well, I don't know how that second one hit me, but that was weird. Let's do art of war here. Alright, for these, let's do let's get rid of the magic toys first that's probably the best bet so we'll wind current on a magic toy there floating balls everywhere ah oh, jeez all right wind current this magic toy Maybe we'll do an Art of War on this guy. Wind Current! Magic Fire! Ah, they're everywhere! 
everywhere. Alright, wind current on... Actually, not wind current. Let's do... Art of War. Alright, we're gonna do some ninjutsu. Wind current. Alright, we got 2,940 points. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm impressed. You gonna hand over the photo relic then? Huh? Never heard anyone call it that before. But I'm a goblin of my word. So here. And so, as promised, your piece of the prize. Piece? We want the whole thing, Shrimp! Then you're gonna need to go around and gather up the other bits. Put it together yourself. Right. So what you're saying is... That more trials await. And that yours truly will be your guide. See you next time. What an unexpected and exhilarating turn of events. An ancient treasure guarded by an army of cactuars and a goblin. Not to mention the mysterious giant of the sands and the Book of Kings. Huh. Increase in body temperature detected. I believe I'm rather excited. <laughs> I've already picked up another signal from the Proto Relic. Or rather, the treasure of the sands. Head for Modular Reactor 2. Say. How many of these mini-reactors are there, anyway? Several. These modular Mako reactors were erected throughout the desert as a means of generating and supplying power to the Gold Saucer. To avoid accelerating the desertification of the region, the reactors are periodically cycled between active and dormant states. Who would have thought all that glitz and glamour came at such a high cost? In any case, the reactors have been ingeniously repurposed by the Cactuars, and within these fortresses, they may secure their treasure. I honestly doubt Shimmer could produce anything half as resilient as this combination of sand and Cactuar nectar. Alright, so we got our first piece of the Proto Relic, and now... Our second one is over there, sort of near the Tom Berry King. So, let's look at the intel for that. Phenomenon Intel 1, Treasure Protector G. Upon entering the modular reactor, Cloud and the others are confronted by the Guardians of the Proto Relic, a veritable army of Cactuars and their spokesgoblin, Kid G. Though Yuffie passes their trial with flying colors, the succulent sentinels only relinquish a single piece of the relic, with the next supposedly housed within another reactor. Alrighty, let's take off. Now we did get that Crescent Moon Charm. It's something we already have. It reduces damage on uh, team members that are not being actively controlled. So if your team is being dumb and taking a bunch of damage, that'll help reduce that damage a little bit if you want to use it. Alright, so we are going to be sort of heading towards our next uh, birdhouse, but there's some stuff on the way. So let's start with the tower over here. Like he's still looking for the proto relic. We'd better find it first. Well, he's on the hunt as well. But how's he gonna do the cactuar challenges? He can't. He can't manage that. He can't even get into the reactor. So I feel like we're safe. He's way too big. Unless he wants to fight us directly once we get it. Maybe that's his plan. Oh no, he fell apart again. 
All right, what do we got over here? We got a landworm and some cacti. Oh, the cacquars are almost gone. Did I get the other one? You die already. Thank you. Alright. Swallow's coming. Dodged it. No sweat. Alright, let's do a prey and we'll switch to bear. Yes, it's my turn. Swallow? Again? Maximum fury. I'm counting on you. You're mine. Okay. Good one up. And we got some boxes here. Two mogul medals. Alright, so that tower revealed some fiend intel. Let's go do that next. <laughs> Alright, where's my buggy? Way over there. I guess that is where I parked it. Or is it? Yeah, I didn't park it this far away. Well, whatever. In the buggy. Okay, so we're heading over to those caves. So we need to stagger an enemy, don't get stunned, so don't get hit by their special attack, and defeat all enemies within the timeline. And before we engage, let's make sure that Aerith has the right staff, because I think she might not. Yeah, she's got the Wizard's Rod, which is not bad. It's 59 magic attack, but we could have the Timeless Rod for 77. So I think we'll go for that. Um, let's see. What materia are we going to lose? Because there's one less materia slot on it. Cleansing, I kind of want to keep that. I guess we don't need poison. Let's drop poison. Move cleansing down there. And then we'll put on our timeless rod. Oh, also, while I'm in here, I think Barrett still has steel. He does have steel. Let's give him something else. Uh, I don't even know what. What are we giving you, Barrett? Maybe luck up? Eh, we've already got two of those. I don't know, actually. I guess we could just give them, like, ice. Or wind. Hey, you get ice. Alright, here we go. Hey, attack me, dang it. Oh. Well, I guess I've never actually had my teammate get stunned, so I guess if you don't get stunned, it's fine. Which is kind of nice that your teammates can't screw you over. I appreciate that. Allow me. Alright, so these are Saber Hawks. 
a rare Spearhawk variant that has become even more proficient at using its horn, skewering foes like a master fencer. Exploiting its elemental weakness, uh, we'll pressure it. Let's go. So let's switch to Barret. Get him ready, and then we'll switch to Aerith. So it's my turn. Ow! Leave me alone. All right, let's get this one that's focused on us. That would be Saberhawk B. Deal with that. Your knows no All right, now do I need to do a focus shot at it? Uh, yeah, I guess I do. Focus shot. Oh, trying to zap me. All right, that one's gone. Stop hitting me. Jeez. Let's just pray, and Keep we'll go together. back to Barrett. I'm John. Oh, we got 33 seconds. We gotta hurry up. Wow! Let's see. Now you're in Excellent work completing our combat objectives. Though I suspect it wasn't much of a challenge. Cloud, I've analyzed the data from your latest bout and graded your performance. You've earned a 10 out of 10. Uh, Cloud, apologies. My speaking out of turn. Pay her no mind. You get a 3 out of 10. I what? Those sound like questionable metrics. Never mind. We'll discuss this later. Cloud, I've come up with a new combat trial for you. Why not give it a go? A new combat trial. Sweet. We'll deal with that later. Let's call on our buggy and head towards that birdhouse. Oh, and let's look at the intel. I almost forgot. So let's see. That's Fiend Intel 3, top of the pecking order. You obtained biological data on the Saberhawk, a rare variant of the Spearhawk, easily identified by the spiraling azure horn atop its head, which it wields with deadly precision. Oh, and we've got a Chocobo stop over there. Let's hit that up. Okay, and we're getting closer to that birdhouse, 321 meters away. We'll go ahead and follow the wall over here. Got some boxes, run them over. Oh, I missed them. There we go. Phoenix down and Moogle Metal, and then these boxes, nothing. I think we ought to do something for Cloud Junior. Don't you? Kids gotta eat. Kids gotta eat indeed. Set the bait for Cloud Jr.? Yes. You laid the second trap. I expect you'll find this hard to believe, but I've actually changed quite a bit since my younger days. Uh -huh. Thanks to Tifa mostly. She really set me straight, especially as a parent. Wouldn't be half the father I am today without her. That's so. Uh, what'd she do? Oh, uh, got fed up with my bullshit and tore me a new one. Started yelling about how a kid like Marlene needed a proper roof over her head, somewhere safe and clean. Said sleeping outside was risky. She was right. Sure was. 
And not just her. The whole team helped me get my act together. I used to be a runaway train, charging full speed ahead and dragging folks along for the ride. Never thought about hitting the brakes or anything else. Had my fair share of crashes and went off the rails a few times. Caused a lot of trouble for those guys. Well, I'd say you managed to get yourself back on track. I couldn't have done it without them. They came into my life for a reason. Like you did, Cloud. Junior, too. I know it in my heart. Aw, oh, look at Bear getting all sentimental. Alright, back in the buggy. Now we're going this way. Keep following the wall. And you can see we have an Alexander crystal. gonna come and smite them. It's hardcore. All right, we got a ruby, zinc, and tourmaline. And we have the sanctuary. Attempt to analyze the Alexander crystal? Yes. All right, this time we got square, circle, circle. Square, circle, circle. Do it. Oh, dang it. Well, I messed that one up. That was bad. All right. Oh, I did the first one a little early on the second set. Okay. I got it this time. There we go. Our birdhouse is 430 meters that way. Won't take too long in the buggy, though. up this hill. And here we are. Set the bait for Cloud Jr.? Yes. Laid the last trap. Well, that's the last of the traps. Our bird might have already been caught in one of the others. Only one way to find out. Okay, so we need to check on the traps that we've already set. But before we do that, let's go over here. There's another Alexander crystal. Break that. Where's the light going? Up there. Cloud, just between you and me, I really, really like Alexander. I mean, who wouldn't? A giant robot! I sometimes contemplate doing something wicked in the hopes I might get to see him up close. Suffice it to say, I await your next exciting discovery with bated breath. 
time. We've got a Cactuar, a Cyclone Drake, and one of those fish. Did that Cactuar just walk right into my attack? Not sure. After you. Right, you're up. Oh wow, we already staggered? How did that happen? Well, that was unexpected. Maximum Fury. All done. Alright, make quick work of them. We got two amethysts. We're in the sanctuary. Amethyst and Leo Titanium. Attempt to analyze the Alexander Crystal, yes. All right, so we got Circle X, Circle, Circle X, Circle. Do it. That maxes out our Alexander material. And Chadley's happy. So, we're close to the second Proto Relic location. Let's go do that next. We're gonna have to find our way down. We can climb down right here. Summon in our ride. And let's go. So, our Cactuar statue awaits. Okay, locate the rock. It's that way. Back into the buggy. Okay, so we've got some fiend intel over here. Let's do that on our way. And it's a landworm variant. And this one's a pain in the butt. Due to the objectives. Uh, so, let's get set up beforehand. So, uh, they are weak to ice. Oh, I don't want item transmuter. Um, they are weak to ice. So, we're going to give Cloud the ice materia earring. So, he gets access to the highest level of ice. Let's see. Ice materia earrings. And then, Aerith. We want her to have stronger ice. At least level 2. And she unfortunately only gets level one with fire and ice materia, although it's getting a little close to level two. So just for this fight alone, we'll steal Tifa's ice. So now she has level two. Okay. We're in monster territory now. Rare landworm variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Their eyes have long since atrophied. These creatures rely on their sense of smell to hunt. Their digestive system has also deteriorated, forcing them to ingest rocks to break down food and absorb nutrients. Referred to as the Undertakers of the Desert, these fiends subsist almost exclusively on carrion, 
Extreme hunger, however, can drive them to attack living prey. The gold saucer has led to a steady increase in foot traffic, and, as you might imagine, a corresponding increase in landworm-related deaths. To protect these travelers, we must understand what makes this variant tick. Okay, let's go in. Alright, so we're gonna have Cloud do an assess. Switch to Barret, do an overcharge. So it's a Dune Worm, a rare landworm variant that produces a soporific gas when its body digests carrion. It boasts an excellent sense of smell and attunement to vibrations, allowing it to track prey even while underground. Inflicting enough damage by exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. Inflicting damage during swallow will pressure it for a longer period of time. So let's get a little bit more ATB on Barret. Good. We'll switch back to Cloud. Oh, he's doing spit. Just get away. All right, he's going underground. And we dodged it. Perfect. All right, let's build ATB quick. All right, there we go. Oh, out of the way. So we're going to have Cloud do Blizzaga. We're switching to Barret. Wait just a second. All right, now. Now we hit it with Focus Shot with two ATB. Oh, got the stagger. All right, now we're switching to Aerith. To build up her ATB and finish it up with a giant Blizzara. Cloud, help out. All right, we did it. Well done, Cloud. You've managed to complete all combat assignments in the Corel region. What assignments they were! You faced so many fiends. Sholopods, Spearhawks, Landworms, Chimeras. That's quite enough. Anyway, I've added a new combat trout to the simulator, Cloud. Do check it out sometime. Another combat trout. All right, so let's correct our uh, equipment. So Cloud, he can go back to the, uh, I don't know, Supernatural Risk Guards, I guess. Supernatural Risk Guards. And then Aerith, you get your Fire and Ice Materia back. And Tifa gets her Ice. Okay. So, let's check. Oh, wait. Let's look at the intel. Almost forgot. Fiend intel 4, death from below. You obtained biological data on the dune worm, a rare variant of the landworm. Tracking its prey with its acute sense of smell, it springs forth from underground with alarming swiftness. That is true. All right. So, let's check our cactuar statue. Over there. And, uh... Yeah, we'll go on the buggy. I was gonna potentially go on foot, but we'll take the buggy. All right, so we actually need to climb up right over here. If we check our statue, we need to go over there, but in order to get over there, we gotta use that grapple up top. Grapple over. Stand before the rock and raise the Cactuar statue. Yeah, 
I got gold Cacquois this time. Botanical fiends of the succulent variety, mainly found in arid regions. Their golden burnish and fleet-footedness have inspired some to refer to them as the gilded bullets of the sands. Hitting them with physical ATB commands will pressure them. Though typically too fast to strike, they will be susceptible to attacks when pressured or while using abilities of their own. Just like that, okay? Best to get the cat to a rock. What are you waiting for? Go on, touch it. Ladies first. Oh no, you're way better at the whole putting yourself in harm's way thing. Fine. of advice don't fight it yes heed the voice of experience <sighs> what did i do to deserve this <laughs> let's head back to the reactor haha <laughs> wasn't me this time yuppie return to the modular reactor and unseal the door all right we gotta find our way down right here will work All right, and we're actually close to a Chocobo stop. Let's go do that. Hi, baby Chocobo. Got some fish to deal Bring with it. first. You're done. Materia leveled up fortification. Shooting me, you jerk. No. All done. Alright, good job, team. Baby Chocobo, let's go. Huh, you can see the Shinra 8, nice. Pearl Ginger Root and some Sage. All better, baby Chocobo. Although I don't know who's gonna be waiting out here. This is the middle of nowhere. But it's a nice view. All right, we got zinc. Numinous ashes go to waste, emerald, and more numinous ashes. Let's call on our buggy and head back to the reactor. And we're back. Sure took you long enough. What do you say? Want to jump right into your second trial? Hm. You know how this ends. <laughs> do I ever? But to you? Holy crap! Let's see. Who looks fit to fight? Fine by me. If the little lady wants to show off, I say let her. 
Cactuar Crush, Aerith's Trial. Aerith's Trial introduces two new species of Cactuars to conquer, Light Tuars and Dark Tuars. Press L2 to conjure an anti-Light Tuar, Luminous Ward, and press R2 to summon an anti-Dark Tuar, Shadow Ward. Basic attacks performed within these wards are more efficacious against the aforementioned Cactuars. Note that Cactuars of other affinities may appear going forward, so keep your elemental wits about you as you fight. Alright, rank 1 is 1000 points, that's a mixed high potion. Rank 2 is 1500 points, that gets you a high ether. And rank 3, 2500 points, gives you the item master materia earrings. Attempt Cactuar Crush with Aerith? Yes. Here we go. Well, this Alright, we got light twars, so L2. And get to work. Alright, we got dark twars now. Alright, now we got bigger enemies. Let's get in there and we're gonna do. Well, yeah, do Sorceress Storm. Boom. Alright, now any ward will work. Let's work on him. We're just gonna build ATB on this one. Alright. And we got a bunch of little ones. Just regular attacks. Right, we gotta get over to this one, though. Hey, stop running away. Alright, there we go. We got the big guy. Alright, so we're gonna hit him with a soul drain. Lend me your strength. Alright, hit him with another soul drain. I'll take that. Okay. He's doing earthquake. Oh, I haven't seen that before. Alright, anyways, regular attacks. We'll take him down. Go on. Oh, come on. Alright, finally got him. Alright, he's stuck on that crap. Let's do uh Sorceress Storm, I suppose. I keep my distance you. Oh, that was great. Right. We'll work on the light. Dark. We'll get tackled. Oh, how did that hit me? Alright, we'll do another Sorceress Storm. Let's do Luminous Ward. Stop trying to tackle me. Alright, we need Dark. Ah, Alright, I think we've only got Dark left. Yep, okay. Alright, now we got a whole bunch of Magic Wars. Let's do uh, Sorcerer Storm. Alright, we gotta hurry. Oh, get out of the way! Oh, they freaking body blocked me, really? I didn't know they could do that. Alright, hold on. Sorcerer Storm, we really gotta hurry. Alright, there we go. We got extra time ones. Get over here. Alright. this down. Oh, he's doing body slam, so get out of the way of that. Oh! That sucks. That's okay. We'll do Sorceress Storm. Hopefully, get some of these caught in the blast. I keep my distance if I were you. Go on. That's it. Oh, I didn't even see that. Ah. Oh. All right, it's okay. Just keep at it. One more shot. All right, we got him. What is he doing? Let's wait for him to stabilize because I don't trust him. Let's do, we're running out of time here, but we're, we're gonna be okay. Let's do Soul Drain. And we got him. All right, we got beat up a lot, which dropped our score, but we still got 2,860 points. Wow, you sure showed me. And I still thought you might be no better than a bunch of bumbling bandits. We've done it.
done now? <laughs> Not even close. You've still got two more pieces to collect, and they won't come easy. Ah, but I could use a bit of time to shore up the next trial, seeing as you kind of breeze through the first two. How's about we put things on pause? Here, give me your contact info. That way, I can hit you up when the trial's good and ready. What? Cloud, I think it would be wise to oblige his request. Mm, perfect. You'll be hearing from me soon. Peace. Our hunt is on hiatus? For the time being, I'm afraid our only viable course of action is to await further instructions. All right, looks like we're on pause for our proto relic for a little bit. Let's check out that intel we just got. Phenomenon Intel 2, Kid G's trial. Aerith proves herself more than a match for the Cactuars, thereby earning Kid G's approval and the second piece of the proto relic. Though there are two more pieces to be claimed, Cloud and the others have no choice but to return to the desert, where the enigmatic sand giant yet lurks. Okay, so... I don't think there's any reason to exit. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and check on our first bird trap, which was over here near the Outcast underpass. So we'll fast travel there. All right, let's bring in our Bucky. And oh, you can see there's some fiends over there. What are you guys doing at my trap? You can blast the other one. Arrow on him. Ah, uh, may as well finish off the pressure. There we go. Trouble of making that trap, and look how they treat it. What a waste. We've got more. Check on the other trap. My poor trap. Pains have eaten the bait and ruined the trap. Okay, so let's go back to our trap in the center. Oh, uh, can I fast travel there? I can, I guess I could just drive there, but it's kind of far. So we'll fast travel to the rust laden reservoir. Okay. Cactuars, what are you guys doing here? I think Claude's health is a little low. Let me uh, boost that a little bit. Give him some high potions. He's ready. Let's check the other. Yep, that one's gone. Hopefully our last one will have worked. Let's see, what's the best way to get there? I think it 
it's through here. We'll go this way. It looks like Cloud Jr. Hey, I think we finally found our boy. We found him. Look. Let's move. Yeah, this is a G can't bomb, I guess. Go ahead and assess. I got him now. A bomb variant that miraculously managed to stabilize itself and survive after swelling up to its limit, and now burns at an extremely high temperature, scorching everything around it. Inflicting enough ice damage when it uses inflame will pressure it. When its HP gets low, it will self-destruct. Don't overdo right, it. Let's Roger. have Barret gain a little bit of ATB. And Aerith, you need to gain ATB. Especially because we want to do some ice. Incendiary rain, definitely want to watch out for this. Dropping damage areas on the ground. Here he comes. This one's for you. All right, let's drop an arcane ward. I don't like that. It's coming. Oh wait. Here we go. Spells. Double blizzard. Just in time. All right. Cloud, you're in. All right, got the pressure. Barret, hit him with focus shot. And actually. Well, let's see. We may or may not need plaza assistance. We don't. Do a brave I'm airborne. I'll do extra damage. Take him down. Bear, uh, you're up. Bear. Can you get him? Not quite. One more shot. Oh, massive explosion! I don't like the sound of that. Double blizzard him. Scared Junior. Thought you were gonna wind up Monster Child. Oh, is that your way of saying you're good on your own? But go straight home. You hear me? All right, report to the children. Let's fast travel back. For you, you head straight home. <laughs> no wonder. Thank you so much. Hey, just doing a job. Go on, eat up. Someday you're gonna be big and strong and scare away all the monsters. Hope I can bring Marlene back here one day. Tell her about her home and everything else. You sure that's a good idea? I owe it to her father. You'll feel better, maybe, but how do you think she'll feel? Don't know, man. <sighs> What's up? My dad says we're supposed to stay away from you. Sorry. That's so. Well, don't want to get you in trouble. Us old fellas gotta go. Take care, Cloud Jr. Thanks again for all your help, mister. Don't mention it. All right, our quest is complete. And while we're here in North Corral, we have that 
Queen's Blood player we couldn't challenge before, but now we can. Let's go give him a run for his money. Jumping all the way down. What kind of dumbass? Let's see, he's right over here. If it sounds too good to be true. So, you have begun to fulfill your potential. Long have I awaited this day. <laughs> At ease, young soldier. I took your measure the moment you set foot in this town. Hard not to, given your presence. I am Navalon of the Thousand Eyes. Years of meditation have granted me sight beyond sight. It is this clarity which shows me all, even that which some wish to keep hidden. You exude a powerful yet troubled aura. Indeed, it makes you the perfect opponent. Come, and don't you dare hold anything back. Challenge Navalon to a match? Yes. All right, so we do have some new cards. Um, let's look at the reward first. So for defeating him, we'll get card number 38, the Bagnadrana. It's rank three with two power. When enemy cards are played from hand, raise this card's power by one. So kind of an interesting card, but rank three, eh, I don't know. Uh, let's see, new cards. We have the Death Claw. We saw that, a very interesting card, worth considering. When enemy cards are destroyed, it raise, raises the card's power by one. So if you're going to be destroying a lot, or if they're sacrificing especially, that'd be great. Haunted Hotel. Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by two while this card is in play. It's nice. It's not bad. I just don't like that it doesn't have forward positions. But that could potentially get a lot of power. Uh, Loveless. Rank one. One, uh, one power. When played, raise the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by one. So kind of a weird one, but could be good. Uh, let's see, what else? We got the thug, we saw that before, no special power on that. The chocobo jockey. Uh, when you win the lane, receive a score bonus of 10. That one's a little crazy. Um, but I don't know where to put that in place of. So I may or may not use that, we'll see. And then there's the joker. When allied and enemy cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by one. So good for your own sacrifice or other sacrifice decks. And then there's the J Squad. When played, spawn Hype Johnnies. Cards that enhance while in play in your empty positions. Uh, so I only, l I actually don't like these cards at all. Shiva's kind of the same. It's basically a Shiva. I'm not a big fan. So I'm just gonna stick with the deck that I have and let's play. Uh, not the best draw, if you ask me. I'm gonna reroll the Zimzalet and the Crawler. Eh, still not the best. But anyways, Crystalline Crab is gonna get played first. Hmm, a Yeti. Uh, actually, that could be good. Yeah, you know what? Or, uh, well, we'll see. I don't know how I want to tackle this yet. Um, but for now, let's play the Spearhawk. Debating playing the Quetzalcoatl. Oh, he's encroaching on my territory. Not gonna happen. We're gonna play that Leprechaun. Or should we play the Chocobo and Moogle? No, we should probably play the Leprechaun. Leprechaun, you're in. Oh, he's playing Sacrifices, the jerk. Alright, how do we want to deal with this? Um, let's play the... well... Wait, does that have a position or not? I guess it doesn't. Um, let's play the Chocobo and Moogle right here, I suppose. 
Yeah, yeah, let's play Chocobo and Moogle. He's playing an Ogre. Encroaching a little bit. Uh, ooh, I could get him in a trap here. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's play Quetzalcoatl, and then I'll play the Ogre from up top. That'll really throw him off. Yeah, alright, so Quetzalcoatl, play that. Yeah, oh, he's sacrificing like crazy. But I am, at least for the moment, taking the top lane. Ooh, and that... If I could get the Hell Rider in there, or no, not the Hell Rider, the Fat Chocobo could be pretty devastating in there to him. Uh, but let's play the Ogre. Hmm. You know, let's actually play Titan here. Because if he does manage to take both of my positions, I can take it back with my fat chocobo, which will isolate it, which will be really good. And if he can't take both positions, then he's in big trouble. So... Let me make sure I don't have a better play. I mean, I guess I could also do a Freet. Which maybe I should. Because if I do a Freet... That kind of isolates him. Yeah, that actually is better. Because then he can't really take it back. And then I can play Titan on top of it. Uh, so yeah, I think actually playing Efreet here is the way to go. So let's do that. Debating myself. Hold on. There's multiple ways I can approach this. Um, Titan would be good because it's five points, but a Freet's more points, and I won't be able to play a Freet again. So yeah, actually, let's play a Freet. So a Freet's going in, and that really uh, makes the bottom row pretty much mine. Interesting decision there. Very interesting. Well, it kind of forces my hand to play this Cactuar. Not super happy about that, actually. Unless there's an alternative. No, because then he's just going to take the position if I don't. Yeah, I think I played that wrong. Well, I don't know. If he's still going to be 7 on the bottom, but he's going to have a rank 2 position and a rank three to play with to potentially challenge me on the mid lane. Oh, but he's stuck. Well, never mind. It worked out beautifully. All right, well, I'll we'll play the fat chocobo. And Titan for good measure. All right, dominant win. Thirty-nine to nothing. My name is Ladrell Balmon, and I am the creator of the game Queen's Blood. Which means that this nightmare is of my own making. I didn't know. How could I? <laughs> you hear her too. Time's running out. <laughs> She's calling me. Commanding me. Uh. 
she's made me her prisoner. Her cursed guard, my shackle. The end is nigh. Or perhaps this is only the beginning. The Shadow Blood Queen is. Yes, you have dreamt the dream of the Drell Balmon too. What do you know about it? Mm. Only rumors and hearsay that players of particular skill have experienced strange visions of late. Visions in which one is visited by the ghost of the game's creator, who speaks of portentous events. To add another wrinkle, some of the world's very best have recently met with unnaturally violent deaths. People are calling this the Curse of the Drell. Not even my third eye can discern the true cause, though it is clearly something sinister. If you wish to continue on the path of the card, then remain vigilant. We ranked up. I think we're six now? Or five or six. Oh. Where do you get off drinking all my booze? Ah, shut up. I can drink whatever the hell I want. I'm the one who paid for it in the first place. Fight, fight, fight. Even the birds are watching. All right, let's head back up top. Uh, Chadley has got some new combat challenges for us. Hello, Chadley. Cloud, I have news regarding the combat simulator. Thanks to the monster data you managed to collect, I was able to devise a new challenge for you. I kindly invite you to give it a try. Alrighty. So we have Corel Battle Intel. Oh, skewer it. A series of three-person battles in which you pick your team, engage in simulated combat to procure more biological data about the bloodthirsty fiends that stock Corel's most popular beaches. This will give vitality up materia. We'll do Cloud, Barret, and Aerith. That shield pod went down quick. Alright, we wrecked them. Alright, uh, this time we've got J unit sweepers. Let's have. Here, do overcharge, and Aerith can work up some ATB. This one's for you. All right, Thunder at A. It's your turn. Let's do this. All right, that one's down. Barret. Let's have you do maximum fury. That probably interrupted it. Let's see. Try it again. Thunder! Alright, he's still pressured. Finish it off with that. And Don't overdo it. Actually, let's do this. 
Hey, with building ATV and taking out that Sholapod. Alright, fire for Saberhawk. Sorry about that. Alright, he's gone. Oh crap, don't get zapped! Alright, we're good. Fire! Saberhawk. Okay. Oh, wait, that's not Saberhawk. What the heck? I've had that happen before where it just like completely ignores what I selected, unless I was dumb. Just like that, okay? All right, that took a minute and 18 seconds. We got Vitality of Materia. Next we have Corel Battle Intel Sand Slitherers. A series of three-person battles in which you pick your team, engage in simulated combat to procure more biological data about fiends who are oft found snaking through the desert dunes. And this will give strength up Materia. Barret, Aerith, and Cloud again. Right, we got a land worm. <laughs> Completely missed right, He's gonna try to swallow me. Not today, buddy. Brace yourself. We got these annoying bikes. Uh, just switch to Ferret and Aerith. Ah, jeez. That's getting lit up. Ferret, why don't you do lifesaver? Some of the most annoying game uh, enemies in the game. Alright. Put that on A. Focus thrust. There we go. Right, he's gone. Back to Aerith. Can you stop it? Don't block any of that. I'm also missing like almost all my staff attacks. All right, there we go. Finally, fire! Oh, the triple slash! All right, that was annoying, but we win. We got the big boy here, the dune worm. Oh, don't get spit on. Woo! Don't walk into that spit either. All right, he's gonna try to swallow me. Nope. All right, may as well get rid of these blade fins. Oh, staggered both of them. That was beautiful. Ah, almost got me. I thought I actually did. All right, Aerith has Blizzard. Yeah, that wasn't that great. 
He needs a higher level ice spells to really pressure him. Earthquake! No. Interrupt. You're done. Time to get serious. That it? All right, that took two minutes and 22 seconds. We get our strength up material. All right, next we have Corel Battle Intel Badland, Badlands Beasts, a series of three-person battles in which you pick your team, engage in simulated combat to procure more biological data about fiends who thrive in the region's ever-expanding wastelands. And that gives AP up material. Cloud Baird and Aerith, you're back. Not the end of the world. Bombs. Hey, bombs. All right, bomb time. Ah, oh, ruined my braver. So long. Right, Barrett, let's have you do an overcharge. Oh, that pressure is nice. Alright, we'll finish that off with a focus shot. Cloud, you're back. No, nope, on target. Oh my god, really? Quit wasting my bravers. Alright, Barrett, finish him off, please. Pressured, I got it. Going in. Work on those terpsicles. They are gone. Both of them. Ah, I tried to get out of there. I couldn't manage it. Look a shot, Barrett. Aerith, do the finisher, Soul Drain. Finish him off. No. Now that was something else. All right, that took a minute and 41 seconds. Next, we have Biological Intel at any cost. A three-person battle in which you pick your team, engage, a deadly fiend in simulated combat to gain not only a clear picture of their behavioral patterns, but also a skill unique to this species. Claim victory to acquire an enemy skill. Items cannot be used. The enemy skill is self-destruct. That sounds terrible. And defeat the enemy within the time limit. All right, same team. It's a mind player. 
Get ready. So long. Right, let's control Aerith for a little bit. I want to have their synergy ready to go. Because uh, he's actually dying pretty quick, and if he goes for that um, big blast the arena attack, we need to be ready for it. So, hit him with the soul drain. Alright, we're getting close. That's it. Sorry. Get him. Need one more synergy for Aerith, and then Cloud needs to use one more ability. Uh, let's have Barrett do uh, lifesaver. Oh, stay with me. Go on. Alright, we are ready. Cloud, you're up. Alright, Aerith and Cloud ready to go. Oh, got me. No, where are you going? Locked it. Dang it. Now what? Oh, see, he's going for it. That's what we were waiting for. Synergy ability, firework blade. Barrett, Barrett you're up. I pressured him. Let's do a focus shot. Back to Cloud. I got it. Harris almost got ATB. Uh, I don't know if she's gonna get this off in time. Let's see. Not quite. Oh, he is gone. Just like that, okay? Right, that was a minute and 40 seconds. We got our enemy skill self-destruct. Okay, and that's all of the combat challenges that are currently available. This data so. is incredible. Thank you for your contribution. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. So with that done, how about we go to the uh, prison? Because that's where Snaps is, and we can tell him about the photo we took. So, let's see. How do we fast travel there? Right here? The Dust Bowl. There we go. Hey, Snaps. Share your scenic photo with Snaps? Yes. Hey there. Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Very nice. I'd say you're a first-rate photographer now. If the association had any lingering doubts about you, this latest shot should have completely dispelled them. At this rate, you'll outrank me. But hey, friendly competition never hurt anyone. You are now a seasoned photographer. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna go up to the gold saucer. See what new stuff we can get up to there. All right, so where we're gonna go? Is the battle square? Hold on, here, All right, so we're going to be doing 16 battles, two teams of three, so let's make sure everybody looks roughly where I want them to be. So let's see. Cloud has 
healing? I don't know if I want healing on Cloud. Let's swap that out for wind for Cloud. We'll take... Uh... We'll take Yuffie's wind. Actually, we'll take Kate's wind. All right. That looks good. The rest of that, I'm happy with. Aerith. Her HP is pretty low. That worries me. She's got lightning and wind, MP up, fire and ice, HP absorption, empowerment. I don't think we're going to be using empowerment, and it's maxed out, so we'll drop that. She's got cleansing. I'm probably not going to use that, to be honest. Definitely want magnify with heal, HP absorption. I guess she could keep that to level. Um, let's give her an HP up if we've got a spare. Or we could give her the HP up materia earrings, which might be more interesting. Eh, we'll just give her this. So I'll give her another 351. It's not bad. That should help her. All right, uh, let's see. Barret, barrier chakra, ice, fortification, time, revival, elemental. Sure. Yuffie, gravity, precision defense, chakra, warding. Wind and Innervation. Let's swap her Innervation. I want to give her some healing. Let's give her the healing materia that Cloud had. Okay. That should work. Kate Sith, we're not going to use, but let's give him some materia to hold on to and level. He's already got lightning. He does not have wind. Let's give him some wind. Tifa, auto weapon ability materia. It's almost maxed. If she uses unbridled strength with that, that'd be good. Enemy skill, ooh, it's rank four. Definitely keeping that. Um, ice, sure. Luck up. MP up, AP up with HP up. Okay, I don't think we change anything on Tifa. And then red, MP up, HP up. Item Economizer. Actually, does he need HP up? He's got a lot of HP, but eh, it's okay. He can stay with a lot of HP. Item Economizer. It's not going to help us in there, but we can keep leveling it. Item Master, same deal. And Warding. Oh, and uh, Vitality up. But we'll drop Item Economizer for now. Because I want to give him some healing. We'll steal that from Kate Sith. Which means Kate Sith needs something new. What's he going to take now? Oh, and we only have Cloud with a level one steadfast block. Although it's about to hit level two, I guess we can keep it. Uh, Kate Sith, you'll take a vitality up, I suppose. And I would like to give a strength up to Cloud, but there's no good spot for it. I like all these things. Okay. Well, I think that'll be good. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. I gave Yuffie a heal, right? I want Yuffie with healing and I want red with healing. Make sure I did that. Yep. Okay, I think we're good. Learn more. Are you interested in joining the fray? New combat challenges are now available. We have six person bouts, the Uncouth. A series of six person bouts in which you pick two teams of three to, comp to compete. Claim victory over villainous ruffians who will not hesitate to set upon innocent travelers. This gives three missed mega potions and 50 gold saucer points. So our teams will be Cloud, Barret, and Red, and then Tifa, Yuffie, and Aerith. The boys and the girls are separated. Ten the girls are fighting a whole bunch of bandits. Rise and fall. 
Oh, I got shot. I'm coming. Right. Well, Your Yuffie, you're up. Oh, there's Yuffie. There's Yuffie. Art of War. Right, Tifa, you're back. Beat him up, Tifa! There's so many of them. Oh, I missed. Oh, I walked right into that shot. That was silly. Alright, out of war. He's All right, that took 57 seconds. One second for Cloud and 56 for the girls. Six person bouts, the Befouled, a series of six person bouts in which you pick two teams of three to compete. Claim victory over fiends who fight for a world in which they belong, warts and all. This gives a white cape and 55 gold saucer points. Cloud, Barrett, Red, Tifa, Yuffie, This is nasty. We got to get rid of them quickly before they get their gravities off. Yeah, just stop that one from doing it. All right, well, we told him. All right, and the girls are up against a whole bunch of flan. Aerith, this is all you. Fire galore. All right, well, they didn't quite beat the guys, but they did much better this round. This one's for you! <sighs> Moving on, then. All right, that took 35 seconds. Then we have six-person bouts, peas in a pod. A series of six-person bouts in which you pick two teams of three to compete. Claim victory over fiendishly similar foes who have teamed up to beat you black and blue. Get three rubies and 60 gold saucer points. Bob, Barrett, Red, Tifa, Yuffie, Aerith. Saberhawk. I was like, why is he dying? Because he's got a lot more health. And they are against these annoying enemies. Maybe we go Yuffie for this. I can't remember what they're weak to. Wait, at least security officers, we don't have an assess on? Weird. All right, well, we'll have to get an assess on them at some point. Maybe we never fought them. Well, let's have... Ow, stop beating me up. All right, you're gonna get it, buddy. You get a lot of strike. Like that, huh? You didn't like that at all. All right, quite a 
effective. Yuffie, let's have you do Art of War on the Shrieker. Screw that Shrieker. <laughs> Aerith, why don't you go ahead and heal Tifa? Oh, you could just heal everybody. Just heal everybody. Kiranga. These shriekers are so annoying. That was a minute and 20 seconds. Next we have six person bouts, scratch that. A series of six person bouts in which you pick two teams of three to compete. Claim victory over cruel and agile predators who enjoy toying with their prey. This will give steadfast block materia earrings and 70 gold saucer points. Same teams. Too bad, we just gotta stop them from finishing their countdowns. I just probably would stop getting punched all over the place. This one. So it's my Let's turn. have Aerith build ATB. Try to take out these crown lances with a single shot. So like this. No problem. When you're actively attacking them, it's a nightmare. If you can just get timely spells in to one shot them, that's the way to go. Maybe like right here. Alright, Tifa, beat him up. You know what? You you, you do it. You got ninjutsu. He's vulnerable. Right of war. Or not. Weird. That did like nothing. How many strikes? Oh, what an elbow from Tifa. That's the way to do it. Yeah, that was a minute and one second. Next we have six person bouts, match made in pain. A series of six person bouts in which you pick two teams of three to compete. Claim victory over fiends who have found common ground and are now determined to make it your problem. Three emeralds and 80 gold saucer points. Claude, Barrett, Red, Tifa, Yuffie, and Aerith. Pressured, focus thrust. Oh, got the dagger already. Alright, well, this cockatrice is almost gone. He's out of here. Now the Zeus pressured. This team is just giving the beat down to everybody. It's mostly Cloud, but still. Brace yourself. Finish him off, Barrett. 
Nice one, Fury. Uh, we got that Bagnadrana and Death Claws. Let's focus on the Death Claws. Ow, ow. Let me alone. Almost got rid of one death boss. Okay. Oh, and the Badnadrana ate some major damage during that. Uh, Yuffie, why don't you go ahead and heal? You heal Tifa. Not throwing in the towel. Swing it there. All right, Aerith, we're gonna need to heal. Don't let me down. Here goes. Shira, single target. You will stay strong, okay? Why don't you need the We'll get through this. All right, this death plot is pressured and stagger. Oh crap, I didn't even see. What happened to Yuffie? My god. Uh, Yuffie, be careful. I'm like bouncing off. Go! You owe me one. Good job. Here it goes. Fine. And we're safe. Okay, that was a minute and 47 seconds. Next we have six-person bouts, League of Reprobates. A series of six-person bouts in which you pick two teams of three to compete. To claim victory over a mismatched party of ne'er-do-wells who have teamed up to take you down a peg. This gives lightning materia earrings and 90 gold saucer points. Cloud, Barret, Red, Tifa, Yuffie, and Eric. Ah, oh, this one's so annoying. I forgot about this crap. All right, well, uh, jeez, how am I gonna deal with this stupid death wheel? I think I forgot to give anybody fire. Nobody has fire, that's gonna suck. All right, well, oh well, we'll do what we can. Fair is probably our best bet to keep the pressure on him. So, we'll just keep it up with Fair. Oh, stay away from it. Stay away from it. Ah, jeez. Cloud, you're up. I guess I may as well just heal with Cloud because he's not going to be able to hit that stupid thing. Uh, but maybe Red will have some success. What about you, Red? Can you stick with him? Maybe especially if I get some vengeance. Let's go. Alright, we'll get some damage there. Alright, whatever. I think Bear was having more success. Uh, trying to do wallop on me. Red, you're back in. Oh, Red's got vengeance. It's pink. Oh, he's wide open for potentially a crescent claw. Will that work? Oh crap! I didn't see Barrett's health. What happened to Barrett? Barrett, you need a chakra. And Frank. Well, wow, it's getting close to staggered. Once we stagger, it's done. My god. I wonder if I should do lifesaver. That's getting beat up. 
Oh, uh, Red can heal himself. Let's just keep going. attacking. Uh, maximum fury, I guess. Alright, Red's gonna heal himself. Back to Get together. Hang back. Come on, get this stupid thing. What I get for not bringing fire. Oh, I thought I had it. I mentioned I hate these stupid things. Cannot hit it. Pray for the team. You stagger already? Thank you. Brace yourself. Alright, Red or Barrett, somebody finish him off, please. Alright, finally. And I guess that may as well. Focus thrust. Alright, that sucks. That was a pain. Alright, and what do the girls have to deal with? What is that claw weak to again? Has no weakness? Really? No weakness. Alright, well, maybe we just go uh, Yuffie for the claw. Alright, it turns people into bullfrogs. That's its steal. Why it's a pain. Uh, it's gonna try to gouge Yuffie. Maybe we'll take this opportunity to beat the crap out of it. Or not. Okay, that didn't work at all. Aerith, build some ATB. Oh, that's a rub. Oh, I couldn't dodge it. Alright, back to Tifa. Let's have Aerith just heal the team because it's going badly. She can do a big old Chiraga. Alright, Tifa, beat up this crap. Don't think you'll walk away from this. Come here, bring it. Keep it doing work on the crab. Almost got the stagger. Don't you dare turtle up on me. Glacier. Alright, there we go. We got the stagger. There we go. Alright, poor Aerith is fighting the Tanadu over here by herself. Yeah, you know what? I should probably heal her. I got you, Aerith. I got you, Aerith. Nothing to worry about. I won't let you. I'll show you what I can do. She's got a limit break. Too bad she has no damaging ones. Oh, couldn't dodge the death from above. That actually didn't hit that hard. Alright, I am ready to beat the crap out of it. Let's do Aeris Limit Break, because why not? Healing win. Oh, dodge the death from above. It's all over. Rise and fall. Dive kick. Alright, that took uh, 3 minutes and 48 seconds. Next we have 6 person bouts pecking order. A series of 6 person bouts in which you pick 2 teams of 3 to compete. Claim victory over fiends whose beaks are as sharp as any blade and just as lethal. 3 sapphires and 100 gold saucer points. Same teams we've been doing. Here we go. Ah. 
kind of good there. No holding oh, come on. Oh, I actually managed to kind of... It's kind of an accident, not gonna lie, but I'll take it. Uh, let's have red. Kill some ATB. Keep it up. Oh, we almost got a stagger there. Alright. So I want red to heal Cloud. So then Cloud can do damage. Why don't you go ahead and finish them off? Thanks for Fury. Ooh, that was nasty. You ain't gonna get away. Alright, just to play it safe, we're gonna do lifesaver on Barrett. Almost got the stagger. Let's do vengeance mode. All comes down. Crescent Claw, give it your loud. Barrett, why don't you go ahead and heal yourself? With the chakra. Red has a limit break. Put that on the low one. Oh, I almost got a rock. Had a rock. Not terrible. Cloud has a limit break. We're gonna use it. Any last words? Let's go. My frame material improved. Sweet. Oh, the lady's got to deal with the birds. All right, Yuffie. This is the job for you, I think. Another time to do week two again. Arrow. Okay, we'll do. We'll do wind ninjutsu. Death from above. Oh, I couldn't avoid it. All right, Yuffie can heal herself. Yuffie, Kira on yourself. Aerith, you're up. No, uh oh Yuffie. Uh-oh, Yuffie. What? Why, why aren't you healing yourself? Alright, I guess uh, Aerith's gonna do it. Alright, Tifa, you're up. Are, are we just not going to heal? What is, what is happening? Alright, hold on. Oh, Yuffie finally got healed. I didn't see that. All right. Some ATB quickly, Yuffie. All right. Have her heal. Went bad, real quick. All right, Tifa, you're in. We should stop hitting separate targets. It's all hit A. Oh, there we go. We dodged that. Beautiful. Let's get this stagger. Slow things down a bit. There we go. I've only got an Omni Strike, but that's okay. We're still gonna do some massive damage. All right, we got rid of one, perfect. All right, Aerith, why don't you just heal the party? I don't know why they're taking so much damage, but it's getting a little insane. Kiraga for the group. Who's got the limit break? Oh, there it is. Art of War! Supreme Art of War! Right, we got the stagger. On the strike and finish. That was an ugly one. I got ugly real quick. That's the way to do it. Alright, that took two minutes and 30 seconds. Alright, now we have six person bouts, access denied. A series of six person bouts in which you pick two teams of three to compete. Claim victory over those who would stop at nothing to protect their territory, and that includes cold blooded murder. And uh, this gives a spectral cog wheel and 110 gold saucer points. So Cloud, Barrett, Red, Tifa, Yuffie, and Aerith.
Now the guys have the much harder task on this one. This one's a pain in the butt for our for our male team. So we got two of these mystic dragons. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit him with an Aurora. We'll do A. Lame Bell, I don't want that. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, what in the world kind of damage was that? Uh, alright. Cloud. Oh, they both they both hit, that's why. Alright, just to play it safe though. Let's overcharge the ferret. And have him. Well, do we want a lifesaver? I don't know. Let's wait on lifesaver. Maybe we'll do it, maybe we won't. Alright. Red, you heal cloud. Hang back. I'm thinking maybe not lifesaver just because they do so much damage that Barry could get overwhelmed really easily. Um, maybe we'll do bonus round though. Let's do bonus round. I finally found a time to use it. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, get out of that, Cloud. What are you doing? Alright, you know what? We are going to do lifesaver. Barrett. Well. That worries me though, the amount of damage he could take. Let's wait. No, let's not wait. Let's do it. I've decided. We're doing it. Alright. Let's see here. Flame belch. Uh, let's see, Cloud does have a limit break, but we should save that for the, um, we should save that for, uh, Stagger. So I'll have Barret Chakra. Barret Chakra yourself again, my god. This is why I didn't want to do it. Watch this. This is why I was worried about it. Okay. Um, well, we should cure Barret, I think, instead of Cloud. Take over. Hang back. Stay calm. We got the snagger. Uh, as much as I don't want to, let's pray with Cloud, and then we'll follow up with a limit break. Limit break. Cross slash. On B. Keep it up. Let's see. Red at least has vengeance mode. And he can finish that up with a crescent claw. Make the most of this. Alright. A is pressured now. Let's finish off that stagger, shall we? Oh, not braver. Oh, what a jerk. Interrupted me. Uh, all right, we're just gonna play it safe and uh, under our ATB. All right, all right, Barrett, you're gonna get chakra. Oh, we have a summon ready. Let's summon Titan. Do your thing. Right, Barrett, you're up. Overcharge. Oh, we got the snagger. Oh, good time. Uh, Barrett does have a limit break. Let's chakra first, and then we'll limit. Oof, I think a chakra is. Jeez. All right, limit break. Fire in the hole for A. Don't you let it go. Barrett could use a heal. 
Now let's use the synergy ability. Jeez, that barely did anything. All right, let's use the synergy ability. We'll do, um, what do we want to do? I guess we'll do Savage Assault on, uh, let's get B down. Uh, on it. Say your prayer. He's hurting. He's having a rough time. Go for it. Let's do this. Now Barrett's hurting. Barrett, I got you. Chakra. We've been help out with Red. Red, you can kill him. <laughs> I'm doing so much healing. I would like to fight. Alright, Titan's not gonna be here much longer, so when he exits, he's gonna do a ton of damage. Alright, we're doing good on health now. Ah, jeez, man, we were. Barret. Oh, wait, no, not Lifesaver Barret. Ah. That's not. I mean, yes, I want Lifesaver, but that's not what we want at this moment. Alright, right, don't take damage, Barret's Alright, Red's Alright, Red's Limit Break is ready, let's heal first Alright, Limit Break The Blood Fang on B Cloud, you're up Oh, Cloud's Limit Break is ready too Oh, and Titan's ready to go Titan, you gonna do it? Titan! I'll pay you back. Alright, we've almost got him. Do a focus thrust. And that should be all she wrote. Ascension! Don't stop now! Let's do this! Maximum Fury! Red, Sidewinder! We got it. Alright. The ladies have to deal with these two. Modded sweepers. Bridal Strength is ready. Let's switch to Aerith. Let her build some ATB. We want her double casting. The Tempest. Alright. Drop the Arcane Ward. Concentrated Fire. I don't like that. Uh, let's do Thunder on A. Alright, so, we're gonna do Tifa's old trick of, uh, where is it? Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Get that bravery, get this stagger, and then absolutely unload. Alright, unload. Oh, that damage is beautiful. Yuffie, help out. Hard one. He's out of here. Alright, Tifa, prepare the beatdown once more. Ooh, big damage. Aerith, why don't you just heal everybody? We want a Kiraga. Everybody's good. Alright, we've got Rise and Fall ready to go, so Aerith, we want you to stagger him up. Here he comes! This one's for you! Come on, Aerith. A little bit more. There we go. Alright, Thunder. Do it. Tagging out. Tifa, you ready? Do Do your sonic boom. 
And unleash the pain. So ridiculous. Finish it with style. Do a limit break. Oh, 6,000 damage. Nasty. Well, can't fault him for trying. All right, that was four minutes and 42 seconds. You completed all easy rank six person team bouts. Sweet. Give us a holler when you want to throw down. Alrighty, so we're done here in the battle square. Let's go to Wonderman Square. Where would you like to go, Kubo? I would like to go to Wonderman Square. Hold on here, Kubo. And here we are. Why, thank you. All right, so we're going to do the Queen's Blood stuff. Got your deck in order? If so, then it's time to throw that. All right, so we have support card Chadley the Callus. Start with Chadley, who unleashes a powerful effect when he replaces an ally, in addition to the other cards in your hand. Channel your inner robotic research assistant by getting the gears in your head turning expertly analyzing the battlefield, and placing your trump card at exactly the right moment to swing momentum in your favor. This will give us card 118, the Gigatrice, and 135 gold saucer points. And we'll use our normal deck, the Gigatrice. When played, destroy allied and enemy cards on affected tiles. It's rank three with four power. Kind of a weird one, I don't particularly like that. All right, let's see. Uh, definitely gonna reroll the Zemzalit. Maybe I keep the ogre, or maybe not. Now nah, let's reroll the ogre. Okay, we'll go with this. Okay. Oh, I like that draw. That was good. Okay, let's go with... Oh, and also, Chadley. Replace an ally and raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by the replaced ally's power. So you can really do some work with that thing. Uh, let's start with the Cactuar. Alright, And they had the same idea. Ooh, we have a Hellrider. Interesting. How do we want to play this? I guess we could... Yeah, you know what? Let's do Chocobo and Moogle. Yeah, let's do that. Chocobo and Moogle. No, oh, they're encroaching on the top. We'll play our Levercon up there. And they're encroaching in the middle. They're encroaching everywhere. Uh, ooh, perhaps this is the time for the crawler. That could work well. nice. Yeah, let's do the crawler. That'll work. And I'll also take the top lane. Well, they're kind of making this easy for me. Now we can play our crab and take that spot. Got to be a little bit careful of them doing some nonsense with their rank three uh, position over there, but we should be okay. Play that crab. No, he wanted to do nonsense, but there was no nonsense available. Well, I say we play the hell rider here and make those rank two positions. Oh, and then we can play Chadley and just make this gross. Or actually, maybe Ifrit would make it gross. More gross? No, I think. 
No, definitely the Hell Rider. All right, so we're gonna play a free there. Oh, this is gonna be so many points. This is gonna be disgusting. All right, they played their Chad lane. That's not gonna help them much. Uh, well, we'll just do a free. We'll do the fat chocobo. And then we can do a replace. Look at that. Plus seven on all four of those. That is so nasty. Uh, yeah, do it. All right, there we go. Holy crap. That is nasty. All right, pass. I think we won, just slightly. Well, that's a record, 74 to nothing. That is certainly a record. All right, next we have Gimmick Battlefield, Afrit's 32-bit flames. Uh, begin the match with polygonal Afrit placed at the center of the battlefield. This flaming or this flame shaping summon puts players through a trial by fire as he enhances any cards, be they allied or enemy, on the affected tiles surrounding him. This will give the Materia Guardian card 112 and 180 gold saucer points. And we're going the same deck. Oh, and also the Materia Guard Materia Gardens Guardian. I can't speak. Is a little weird. When first enfeebled, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by six. Uh, it's rank three with five power, so it could be really good, but it seems really situational. So I'm not a big fan. All right, so we got that Afrit in the middle. He's going to do a bunch of buffing. And how do we want to do this? Hmm. I don't think Zimzalet's gonna work. I don't even know if the ogre's gonna work. Now let's take the ogre out. Let's reroll him. All right, we'll play with this. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, we'll start with Chocobo and Moogle. And they had the same idea. In the same spot. Ooh, and a free Oh, a freet's gonna be amazing on this. Oh, we're definitely gonna try to get a freed in. Question is how? I don't know yet. Alright, Spearhawk there. He's immediately encroaching on my territory. I do not appreciate that one bit. Especially since I don't have a great card to counter, so I gotta use this crappy Levricon. But I did take the bottom row and then, well, I was gonna say I'm probably gonna keep it, but they did just buff that. So we'll see. All right, um, yeah, we'll play. Wait. Oh, right. Crap. How are we going to do this? It might actually be best for me to play Quetzalcoatl. Right there. Buff that, and then I can play Titan. That might be the best bet for me. Although, I don't know. I could also roll the dice with Titan. And see what comes up. I just don't have... I didn't have a good draw this time at all. So what is the best move for me? Alternatively, I could play Titan there, but that doesn't leave me much. Well, actually, maybe it does. I could play Quetzal. I could play Hellrider there, and then oh no, that doesn't work. Never mind. I'm confusing myself. I might be better off playing Titan, as much as I don't want to. <sighs> yeah, it's probably my best bet, unfortunately. Well, no, actually, is it? I 
feel like I've kind of put myself in a bad position. Quetzalcoatl would be there to save my butt, though. All right, we're gonna play Titan. Although if I do, what am I gonna get on those others? Well, I guess I got Ogre and the other. All right, we're gonna play Titan. And what are they up to? They're just playing in the backfield. Oh, I got a crab. That doesn't help me. <laughs> I mean, it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't at the same time. It kind of does, and it kind of doesn't. Because I could play here. Oh, actually. Yeah, actually, that's great, because then I have the ogre on the bottom. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. All right, so this is what I was hoping for. Play my ogre down here. And they could potentially take that back, but I do have the arch dragon ready to go. I'm still sad I didn't get to play a freak because that was like a perfect draw. Oh, and it looks like I'm taking this win. We'll lower him by three. Just to add insult. And hey, a cactuar. All right, there we go. All right, and now we have boot camp. It's a survival challenge. We completed all the easy rank challenges. Complete or compete in a relatively forgiving match spanning three rounds to see how many total points you can accrue. Win and receive a reward based on your point total. A support card will be added to your hand at the start of round one. You will draw five cards at the start of each round. You cannot draw cards during the round. So it's a little weird. Um, we need 50 points for the gold. I think you also have to win, but maybe not. I never won with over 50 points, or lost with over 50 points, I'm not sure. But either way, we plan to win. So, we're going into boot camp. And we like our deck, so we're going to stick with it. So, let's... Oh, and we get Sephiroth for this. It's rank 3 with 4 power. When played, destroy enemy cards on affected tiles. So, honestly, not that great, if you ask me. But, whatever. Let's play. Uh, we're gonna re... Ooh. I don't like this draw at all. So, this one's a little interesting in that... These are only cards we're gonna get, so we don't... Like, under normal circumstances, this wouldn't be a terrible draw, but here, it kind of is. Because we need points on the board. Um, so I'm actually... I might just re-roll the whole freaking thing. I guess I want the crab. The crab's like the only thing. And I don't, I want a free for later rounds. So he's good in theory, but not in this particular setup. Um, so yeah, let's reroll. Zemzalat, a free. We'll keep the crab. I suppose we'll keep the Levercon, but we'll reroll the crawler. So we'll just keep those two. And hopefully we roll some high value cards because I really want to win this first round. Actually, you know, let's reroll the Levercon too. I'm just keeping the crap. Okay, eh, it's okay. It wasn't bad. Um, so if we take a look on the board, there's Kak in the box. When you win with this card in the lane, add a number, or when you win with this card in the lane, add a random Cactuar card to your hand. So you definitely wanna win that center lane if you can, um, cause that's, that will carry over to the other rounds too, so you really want to get that card if you can. So let's go ahead and start with a Cactuar, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. Then we can buff that middle lane really well. Or actually, you know, maybe we should play the Spearhawk instead. Really commit to that center lane. Yeah, perhaps we will. Cause I'm gonna, I wanna throw a fat chocobo down in there. So yeah, let's do that. All right, 
they did not have the same idea. We'll throw a crab there. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. So we have the Gigan Toirs, which are really awesome. They add two power, two positions. Um, so we'll probably just play our two biggest cards on that center lane, which would be the Fat Chocobo and our Quetzalcoatl, and hopefully that'll be enough. I would I would think so, since the Fat Chocobo is gonna have nine. But we'll see. All right, so he's got a Space Ranger. He's probably gonna take the bottom row. I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll play our Fat Chocobo now. Debating. Is there any reason not to? I don't think so. I think we want to play that now. Yeah, let's play it now. All right, Fat Chocobo's in. Going hard for that center lane, and he isn't. Strange. Not what I expected. Well, let's kind of still play this. I'll play my Cactuar there and see what he does. I am buffing that square by three, but hopefully I'll be okay. I'm pretty much giving up on the the top lane. I'm giving up on the bottom and the top. I'm just going hard on the uh, the mid. Is there any reason... Actually, is there a reason to play the Cactuar? Not really, because I'm not buffing. So let's actually play the Gigan Tar. Just so I can get Quetzalcoatl in there. Unless there's another way, which I don't see. So, we're going to play Gigan Tar. Or maybe I should go for the... Let's see, which, which lane am I more likely to win? I guess he's got a rank two position on the top, so I suppose I'm more likely to win the bottom lane. Although, no, I'm not gonna win either one. Let's see, I wish there was, well actually, hold on, maybe I don't have to play my Quetzalcoatl there at all. That's another option. Cause I could just play, I could just play my Cactuar there. I, what I'm trying to do is not use my Gigantar if I can help it. And I feel like I might not actually need him. So that's what the delay is about. Because if I was to play like Quetzalcoatl here, I could put pressure on the bottom lane. And, uh, you know what? I will. I'm going to play Quetzalcoatl here, put a little bit of pressure on the bottom lane. And then I can play my Cactuar up top, and then if I need it in the center, I can go for, um, I could put my Gigantar there if I'm really desperate. But as long as I win the Cactuar, I feel I've done pretty well in this first round. So that's the goal, and I want to keep these Gigantars if I can. So let's just play. Wait, is there any way he could take it? I guess that's the th one thing I need to watch out. Is there any way he could actually take my row? I don't think so, because he's only got, what, six cards? Or he would have four cards left. Uh, let's play the Cactuar, see what happens. All right, so he's going top. You know, I don't think he can beat that middle lane. I don't think you can. I might be better off keeping these cards because I'm not going to win the bottom. I already lost the top. I just want the mid. Yeah, I'm going to pass. I think Nine's going to do it. I don't see any way he's going to take that. Yeah, I'm taking these cards with me to the next round. All right, well, he's taking decent points with him, but I did get the middle. He's taking less cards. So he takes an early lead. But not by much, nine to 14, I'm cool with that. And I got the Cactrot, which I, wait, it's a Cactrot? Oh, I had a better one before. Well, whatever. All right, so we're on the Shiva round now. 
And we do take these cards with us, so we got more cards to play with. And a decent draw. Let's see, so we have Polygonal Shiva. When the round ends, spawn cards in empty positions that raise your score equal to that position's ring. So, we definitely want to be taking positions here. And uh, I kind of want to keep Chocobo and Moogle for the last round, so maybe instead we'll play a Space Ranger here. Let's see. Oh, but that would actually be a great card on the last round, too. So maybe we don't play that. Maybe now's the time for the Gigantar. Yeah, let's play one of our Gigantars here. And uh, another strategy here is that, you know, we don't necessarily have to play cards. We just have to get high positions. So if we want to do that, we could play the Zimzalette, get positions there. All right, we got options here. Let's play our Gigantar right here. We also have this Cactrot, which we may or may not save for the last round. All right, so perhaps I'll play the Crawler, or we go with the Zimzalette. Let's go Zimzalette. I don't think that's going to be too useful. And I do want to pick up some points here. And if I need to... If I need to, I have cards I can play. But I think Zimzalette is our best option at the moment. Alright, he's pressuring the top. You know, I might let him. Because we do have the Hell Rider for five points. Depending on what he takes there. I could pressure the bottom. Alright, we're not gonna do Chocobo Moogle though. Here. Oh actually we'll just do Space Ranger. That'll that'll hurt him bad. Yeah, let's do that. And then if he can't get rid of that position, I could play Crawler and then take this round in a big way. I think that's our best play. So yeah, let's play the Space Ranger there. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he is screwed. Oh, we're taking this in a big way. Oh, we dominated this round. And we get to take all these cards with us. Oh, he's getting smoked. All right, this is going to be massive points. Massive points. Give them all to me. I pass. Boom. That's 33 points right there. A devastating round for him. All right, so we're at 42. We only need eight points to win. And, oh, we got an Efreet. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing to see. All right, so uh, we could play our Gigantar or early, but maybe we hold off on him for a little bit. want to use him well. So let's, let's get Chocobo and Moogle in there, like, right away. Definitely want him. Interesting play there. All right, we're going to throw Titan in. Now oh, we got so many options. All right, so maybe... I don't like him encroaching on the bottom, but I think we should wait to do much there, so maybe I was gonna play Efreet, but maybe instead we play the Hell Rider in that top corner. Or alternatively, you know what? We could pressure with Quetzalcoatl, but I don't wanna take that position. So let's instead play the Hell Rider. And that would let me play Efreet there, which would be a good play, actually. So yeah, let's do that. That's, that's our move. Then we'll have rank two positions, which are gonna be great. Well, now I, th well, do I play my Gigantar or do I just do like an arch 
Dragon. Maybe we do Arch Dragon. Maybe we should save the Arch Dragon though. We could just do a Leprechaun there. We don't need positions above, so yeah, maybe. Well, we might need a Leprechaun up top. Maybe. Eh. We'll do Leprechaun. And if he doesn't take that back with that rank three position, I got the ogre ready to roll. So yeah, let's do let's do Leprechaun. So he better hope he takes that bottom position, and he did. What a jerk. What a massive jerk. All right, well he gets that one. That's fine. Oh, actually, we do have Quetzalcoatl. We could take it, but I really want to get Efreet in there. So, no, let's get Efreet, because that's so many points. I mean, look, that's 11 points. That's nasty. So, I think at this point... Ooh, I hope he doesn't have an Ogre. That'd be really bad. Let's see. Let me, let me think through the possibilities here. I think I should probably get a freed out as quickly as I can. And regardless, I would take the middle lane, and there's no way he's taking that, so I would win the match. So if he if he does have an ogre, good for him. He's going to get those positions, but I don't know if he has an ogre. So let's just throw this down, get those points locked up, hopefully. And he does have an ogre. Oh, that's so dirty. All right, but he doesn't have many cards, so... We're good. We got our 16 points. That's going to get us to 58. Unless... Oh, I hope he doesn't have any nonsense. He's got another ogre. We pass. Yeah, he had no nonsense. You know what I should have done? Potentially. Nah, whatever. Doesn't matter. We won. I could have played my Cactrot, maybe. And just secured it a little bit more. But we got it. We got our Sephiroth card. All because of that second round. That second round was a beatdown. Alrighty, so we're done with all the Queen's Blood stuff. Alrighty, um, let's go to Skywheel Square now that it's, you know, not malfunctioning. Oh, and did we buy the stuff here? I don't know if we did. Hey there! Got a big pile of points to trade me? I don't think we did. So, we can get a Play Arch G-Bike collector's item, a detailed model of the G-Bike motorcycle. That's 30 points. Queen's Blood Game Board collector's item, the unique board used to play the popular card game. 3D Brawler Cloud Figurine collector's item, a toy replica of the ex-soldier as seen in 3D Brawler. 3D Brawler Pugilist figurine. Collector's item, a toy replica of the combatant in 3D Brawler. 3D Brawler Moogle figurine. Collector's item, a toy replica of the large Moogle was seen in 3D Brawler. And then 3D Brawler Dio figurine. Collector's item, a toy replica of the Gold Saucers Park director as seen in 3D Brawler. And then there's Tale of the Red Warrior Volume 3, skill points for red. And card 140, the Saucer Squad. Back once you racked up more points. Okay. Now we're going to Skywheel Square. Where would you like to go, Hold on here, Let's do some ease drop. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm, I'm totally not scared of heights, you know. Right, they're not chatty. 
Are you ready to embark on an adventure through the skies? We hope this experience is one that you'll cherish for the rest of your life. Let's figure out what we want to do next once we're on the sky wheel. I don't mind the long lines much at all. They give us more to try. Camulo candies. All right, they're not chatty. What about them? Oh, can finally get off my feet for a bit. My heart's pounding. All right, and then we got a vendor. Why not exchange some of your points and get a gift for that special someone. All right, so there's a save crystal. Collect this item. A charmingly nostalgic tchotchke that reminds one to save their progress often. A stuffed cactuar, collector's item, a soft toy free of the creature's defining spines and thus perfect for cuddling. That's 30 points. Fortune's Untold, Volume 1, SP for Kate Sith, and card 138, the Sky Wheel. If you're looking to escape the crowds, why not try the Sky Wheel? Oh, I can finally get off my feet for a bit. My heart's pounding. So this will be our, what? 15th ride? 15, my god. Wow, look at all the couples. Embark on a magical journey into the sky and see our golden paradise like never before. My apologies, sir. Our guests without a ticket are unable to board the sky wheel. Oh, how lame. All right. So we're done in the gold saucer for now. One thing I want to do, because I picked up so many of them, let's go check out our collector's items at the treasure trove, because we've got a lot of them now. So we can now fast travel straight to Johnny Seaside End. All right, so we're at 43 of 88. Wow, we jumped up. Let's check out our new ones. Let's see, what is new? Well, there's gotta be new ones in here somewhere. Uh, Fleet-footed jockey, here we go. Congratulations on winning all of our grade three races. We look forward to your next appearance, the GS Chocobo Racing Association. Cards Savant, yes. Congratulations on successfully completing all of our elementary card challenges. Your ability to outmaneuver your opponent, think two moves ahead at all times, and take advantage of the generous amount of luck with which you've been blessed will take you far in this game. We look forward to your continued success. Wonderment Square staff member. Psh, wasn't luck. In fact, I had kind of bad luck. All right, then we have Twin Team Titans. You lot are a pack of bruisers, I tell you what. Seeing the six of you work together to take down your opponents was a thing of beauty. Poetry in motion, really. I couldn't take my eyes off you. Here's to your next round of bouts. Coliseum staff member. Then we've got... Oh, jeez, none of this is new. Guess it's all on the back end. The play arts rest spot, we've seen that. Where's all this new stuff? Stuff Chocobo, Quet. You want to go for a ride? Or find a shady spot to curl up for a nap? Chocobo. Stuffed Cactuar, you, me, friend. Lies, never, ever. Or else, 10,000 needles. Cactuar. Stuffed Fat Chocobo, my belly's not full of food, but sweet dreams. Quet. When you're feeling sad or lonely, just give me a great big hug and I'll make it all better. That's a promise. Fat Chocobo. The Stuffed Tonberry, knife is for stabbing, people for cursing. But not you, you are a friend. My one and only friend, right? Tom Berry. Then we have the Play Arch G-Bike. That sleek, confident design. That booming exhaust. Perfection. Even now, I can hear the sweet engine note resounding in my ear, can't you? Truly, this masterpiece will be an integral part of our inevitable rendezvous, my friend. Roche, soldier, third class. Queen's Blood Game Board. Inspired by the legend of the Shadow Blood Queen. My new game rewards players who strategize and act decisively while still being simple enough that anyone can pick it up easily. 
The exquisite card artwork is also something I believe you will all appreciate, as it draws you in and immerses you in the world of Queen's Blood. Ladrell Balmon, creator of Queen's Blood. The 3D Brawler Cloud Figurine. By popular demand, the gallant soldier operator who delighted the crowds in 3D Brawler makes his toy debut. With his steely gaze and spiky hair, he cuts a dashing figure on the digital battlefield, Shinra Toys. 3D Brawler Pugilist Figurine. Fans of the punishing pugilists can at last add him to their figurine collection. Place him in your room as a trophy commemorating the beatdown you dished out. Shinra Toys. The 3D Brawler Fat Moogle figurine. Is his belly truly soft or does it hide abs of steel? Now you can find out yourself by squeezing your very own colossal cuddler. Snuggle up to this fearsome fighter today. Shinra Toys. 3D Brawler Dio figurine. The time has come and so has the Beefcake Park Director. When this executive jumps into the ring, the crowd knows they're in for a show like no other. Own the living legend and reenact all your favorite classic matches. Shinra Toys. And then we have a Loveless poster. It is an honor to be given the opportunity to play the part of Rosa. To fulfill my lifelong dream of standing on stage and performing in front of everyone. There's no words to describe what this means to me. I hope that you'll join me on Rosa's emotional journey, for you're as much a part of her story as I am. With love, Jesse. And the Save Crystal. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am a genuine, bona fide Save Crystal. Yes, sir. Though some folks used to call me a Save Point back in the day, too. Whether you're far from home, getting up to mischief, or having the sinking feeling you're about to get your butt whooped, give me a holler. Better safe than sorry, am I right? Anyway, I'll probably see you again somewhere down the road. Take care. Save Crystal slash Point. Beginner's Hall. Alright, that's all of our news stuff. So, we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up right here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.